everybody. I'd like to do a short video on uh, budget bedroll. So what can you do to get a bedroll system uh, together without spending too much money? So let's say this summer you want to try out uh, maybe the bedroll system. But you don't want to spend like two or three hundred dollars to get maybe some high-end better equipment. Uh, well, you can also do it with a, a lot cheaper equipment and then try it out and then maybe get to the conclusion that either you very like, like it very much or maybe it's not so good for you. Um, so what I'm not going to do is what I see some people do, like to get the most cheapest solution possible, almost like a survival situation. So people come up with things like, you know, you can take a piece of cardboard, uh, flatten that out, roll it up or something and then get the garbage bag, cut that up or some other bag and that's then your base layer or what have you and they come up with something like a beach towel that you can sleep in or something and uh, while that is a possibility uh, I assume that most people that can actually watch this video have a computer etc so uh, we're probably not living on the street so we can do a little bit better than that uh, but still we don't want to spend too much money alright so let's start with the base layer um, I tried this myself a few times and uh, I found that these uh, sheets that you can buy at the construction store uh, they are actually meant for covering up um, uh, furniture or uh, gear that you have outside against, to protect it against the rain and dust uh, it's relatively thin material it's a polyester kind of material uh, they usually come with, uh, with grommets and um, that could be a very good base layer. It's waterproof and it will only cost you about seven dollars around that price. Maybe you can get it cheaper, maybe a little bit more expensive, but that's about what you pay for these uh, for these sheets. And of course any other sheet material that is uh, reasonable uh, in size uh, will do, but this is uh, very cheap indeed. Only downside is that it is kind of noisy so if you're sleeping in a nice forest uh, and you're turning around all the time it's going uh, to be a little bit noisy for your neighbors or your friends that sleep next to you um, but that is really cheap so that is one option for base layer then another one that might be a bit of a surprise is a shower curtain now I accidentally had to replace mine and uh, I took it down and I felt that it was quite strong material it is a little bit better than that cheap uh, sheet material and it's waterproof and you can get it in reasonable big sizes so you can cut it down to your size and they are of course if you have one lying around an old one uh, it's for free uh, but if you buy one in the store because you want a certain color or something and you don't want butterflies on it um, they come in around 10 to 15 dollars I, I assume that that is at least the price here and you have a very decent shower curtain that is made to withstand water and a lot of use so again in terms of quality this is almost I think better than most tarp uh, qualities uh, a little bit more expensive but you're still in the 10, 10 to 20 dollar uh, range so shower curtain as a base layer very good and it makes less noise than the uh, construction side thingies alright so that is an option as well now another thing um, if you do happen to have a tarp lying around uh, they are usual waterproof as well and come in various sizes this is a 3x3 three three meter tarp which means that would be plenty of uh, size for me um, that would also work. If you have to buy one, you can get very cheap tarps. Uh, that will set you back probably a little bit more, maybe 20, 30 uh, dollar range, depending on the country and the quality, etc. But still, it is a reasonable, uh, affordable option. So that is your, your, your base layer, your waterproof layer, if needed. Um, so that having said that, we go to the blanket because you want to sleep in something. Now, a very good option I found um, and affordable is a fleece blanket. Now, this is made of a sort of a polyester, so it's, it's artificial. Uh, it does have reasonable good insulation and they come relatively cheap. I mean, you can get one for 10 to 15 dollars 
and they come in reasonable sizes. Uh, this one is, I think, uh, three by three also. So really too big actually, but then you can fold it up and create even more insulation as the air is trapped within the blanket. And fleece is very lightweight, so if you use uh, uh, this sheet from the construction store, this weighs nothing, I think a few hundred grams. The fleece, not too heavy. This is really a lightweight package and it's quite good as well. I mean, you can really use this a couple of times without any problem. Um, a fleece blanket, so that, that would be an option. Um, of course, if you want to upgrade that, and you say, well, fleece, mm, I don't know, because it is, of course, um, uh, a bit uh, uh, fire, um, it, it can catch a fire. Uh, wool um, is not, so if you want a wool upgrade, now wool is relatively expensive, but if you go to a dump store or a military surplus store or something, uh, you can pick up uh, a wool blanket for sometimes uh, like uh, $20, depending on the quality and the thickness. So it doesn't have to be really expensive, but you do get a real quality product. Do uh, mind, however, that uh, sometimes they're a bit itchy. So if you want to sleep under this um, in a t-shirt or something in the summer, although uh, wool is very good at controlling uh, the temperature, it is very itchy so you maybe have to line it with something uh, I bought actually a thin cotton kind of fabric and I'm gonna uh, attach it to the wool blanket to give it a little bit more comfort of course in the winter if you keep maybe uh, your clothes on uh, that would be a problem that won't be a problem so a wool blanket surplus dump whatever could be a, a cheap uh, solution to that as well now um, of course, you can also bring your sleeping bag. Uh, if you have a good one, uh, throw that on. Uh, that would be a good option as well. But I don't know what about you, but uh, I really don't like sleeping on the floor. That's, that was my conclusion. I tried it, I thought, no, that, I, I don't sleep. It's just too annoying and mosquitoes and uh, I don't like it. Um, so I started, of course, trying to get a little bit more comfort. Now, if you want a really cheap solution to get a little bit more comfort and a little bit more insulation from the, from the ground instead of leaves and all that material, um, you have these, I believe they're like fitness uh, mats or aerobic mats. Uh, they are a bit foamy, they're relatively lightweight, they are relatively thin. If you roll your blanket and your sheath in there, you really have a decent underground padding insulation for the summer. If if you have no problem with sleeping in the, on the floor in the first place. Of course you can upgrade that a little bit and um, I did with an X-Pad. <laughs> so this is really not budget, this is about $150 but um, I also saw that in toy stores and like at the beach and, and places where they have swimming pools they sell these air mattresses for uh, children to play on and stuff like that and to sunbathe and they are actually really cheap. They're like five to ten dollars or something, and you inflate them, and you know they're meant to use for the day, but they, they can take a little bit of an abuse. And they're actually nice and comfortable as well compared to sleeping on the floor. Uh, and they are uh, relatively light as well. I think they come in at about 700 to 800 grams if you buy a, uh, you know a, no a normal one, a simple one, nothing fancy. And you can upgrade, of course, your air mattress. Uh, as we go up with comfort and, and, and stability and isolation, uh, insulation. And of course you may end up with something like uh, an X-Pad or a Thermarest uh, air mattress. So this is what I use now, this is 700 grams as well. Um, but I mean that uh, the cheap ones from the toy store and stuff are a very good option. And when you deflate it, you can roll it up with your, with your blanket and maybe your sheath and uh, you've got a nice package. And another option, of course, is a simple summer sleeping bag that you might have laying around. Uh, that gives you the opportunity to just uh, sip it uh, uh, close if you like. You don't have to do the folding thing and keeping everything together. Uh, so it gives you a little bit more um, freedom of movement while you're sleeping. And most people have one of these lying around. They're, 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 these summer bags, they, they are not that expensive. Assuming that you want to try it out in the summer. 
I did. I'm not gonna do this in the winter and then you know sleep on a frozen floor on a on a cheap piece of sheet. Um, why would I do that? So I tried it in the summer and I, I didn't really like it. So that's why I threw that out of the window and I ended up doing the small tent, small army tent, surplus tent with a air mattress and a wool blanket. So that is my system. Wool blanket, I roll it up together and my tent um, and that is my system for now. So um, I hope that helped you out for the, the budget uh, things. If you do it right you can be like, uh, I don't know, maybe $40, $50, you got everything together. You try it out, maybe you got some materials lying around the house. Uh, try it out for a couple of nights and if you like it then you upgrade your gear and uh, no harm done if you have to throw away an old shower curtain or uh, a piece of uh, uh, sheet that you can use for uh, decorating or what have you, protecting your furniture when you're doing some other things. Yeah? Okay. Hope that helped and uh, see you next time. Thank you.